got my helper with me today in case you guys didn't notice my baby girl Tucker Both you guys have some luck this morning, or? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I see them hanging over there. Oh yeah. Is that what happened to this yeah. deer? Live by the sword, die by the sword, I guess. So we got one last year in one of our uh, service trucks. Yeah, it mainly got the drill and the radiator. Yeah. We had a little uh, canyon it got, and it hood, fender, headlights, stuff like that. It was like ten thousand dollars, so crazy what it costs to fix them now yeah, yeah just a minute He's in it or? Yeah, okay. In the console. Okay. That should be laying right Yeah, I got it. snatch block on there to keep my winch spool our cable spool on the winch better when we're pulling at that angle we'll get it up here and just put a couple chains on it since we're sitting in the road and get out of here Quentin, I'm Greg's son. I don't know if you know my dad, but yeah. I'm his oldest son, so. Yeah. He thought that's who he was. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's your name? David. David? Yeah. What's your last name? Jones. Okay. 
Yeah, I've been working for dad full time for about six years now. All my life, you know, obviously, but full time for about six, so. Yeah, just about, except for one, two on this road, the rest of them's all family. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all different now that they're mining again. We used to go out there and have a good time, I guess, but you can't do that no more. <laughs> so with all the mines back, so. All right, we'll get it to Heath. Appreciate it. Right. Have a good day. So, gonna be sufficient for where we're going. We'll get out of the road before somebody hits us in this blind heel. So, all right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, just got a call from dispatch for an accident in front of a grocery store in Hartford. So, we're on the way to that. They said it's down in an embankment. So, I took the road back. We're headed that direction. Uh, they just called back and said that it's over a concrete wall or something. They couldn't really explain it, but they said I might need a bigger truck. So, uh, we get on scene, we'll find out, but I might have to have a record brought to me, so we'll get there and find out and go from there. So I'll see you there, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, we're pulling up to the scene here. I don't know tell what's going on just yet. coming i was already in town so <laughs> no, i don't have a rotator but <laughs> man yeah she all right yeah i was in town dad's out of town but i got clay bringing me a wrecker so Set up over here and boom out and probably pick it up by the back wheels. Yeah, I don't know how high we can get it. Hopefully, we can get it high enough. So, may have to get it close to the wall if, if it won't go high enough and just kind of. Yeah, once I can get it high enough. So, just don't want it going over. So, I was leaving anyway. It does. You know what I mean? Like, it was. I don't want to touch it much until we get a record here, though. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is bare. I mean, it ain't going to take much to go on that way. He was he was going through town toward our shop to grab the record, so it would be a little bit. But All right, guys. Probably. No, one on each side, I think. The red one, there's some red ones over on that side in the front toolbox. Okay. We may have to double them up. They may be, I'm going short as possible. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Hey guys, we just got a call for a tow in Beaver Dam Staying in Beaver Dam uh, I was in the service truck right now But we're running, jumping to roll back And get on scene, I'll turn you back on Alright, we made it to the shop guys Grab our stuff in a row back. 
All right, guys, we're here to haul the car. The customer's not here yet. This is Black Camaro here. Um, but while we're waiting on him, I'm going to flip my side puller over to the other side. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second here. It's probably just an OCD thing on my part, but I always leave my side puller arm on that side. I used it the other day, and, or yesterday I guess it was, and I just haven't had a chance to switch it back. So while we're waiting, we're going to do that. in here where it's warm and wait on the customers. All right guys, customer made it here, so we'll get lined up and get it loaded up. Our beacon's on, because we'll have to sit out in the lane to load it. He's already paid me with his credit card, so all the paperwork's done. We just gotta load it and take it up here, right up the street to a shop that you guys have been to a bunch of times with me. Breaking axles? Oh, <laughs> well, I saw the straight shift, right? So that's part of it, probably. Yeah. First part of block off too. I don't leave it on usually either. Take these gloves off before I get in the car. Keys in it. I gotta put it in neutral and steer a little bit. Are you going over there too or not? Okay. I got a situation to change the park. Okay. I got help over here now. What's 
going about a mile up the street, so just throw one strap on the back and we'll be good to go. in the car. Alright guys, we'll get it delivered over there and uh, I may turn you back on if I get a chance. I'm not sure. But uh, if I don't, We'll see you next time. We'll do a quick unload and push it into that spot over there. You want to push it back and then we're gonna push it in there i did put it in gear so i don't know if it matters you gonna put it in neutral or not he, you gonna steer he's the smallest he can steer <laughs> so he can probably start it i guess so he had power steering if, <laughs> if he wants <laughs> all right he great baby <laughs> Oh, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Oh my gosh. Woo. <laughs> where did it happen at? Right there in yeah. front of the, yeah. where I got it? Pulled out. <laughs> Bad out of, actually pulling out of the <laughs> Get 
off while I'm thinking about it. You work at the funeral home? Uh, you work at the funeral home? You know, Cameron? That's my niece. I saw that jacket. I figured, I figured you did. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Man. Or the axle bearing out there on the outside, on the outside of the differential a bit. Oh well. These guys here will be able to take care of it. They do good work, so. Alright, well we appreciate the phone call. Thank you need a rag for that? I got rags in my truck. Yeah. Appreciate the phone call. Sure. Have a good day. Good. See y'all. All right, guys. Quick and easy. Another one bites the dust. I don't know if you guys could hear that rear end while we were pushing that car, but it was popping like crazy. So, it's got some big problems. I think we're going to. Uh, Stop and get some fuel and head to the next call. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you Hey guys, welcome back to the channel um, I don't think you guys have seen this truck of ours. It's been in a shot with some hydraulic issues uh, It's a Kenworth T800 with a custom-built 30 ton CB30 uh, It's one of our first heavy trucks taking it back out here we got it back Saturday but it's got still has some issues with hydraulics so we're taking it back out here to let them take a look at it see what's going on it's the hydraulics are jumping like they got air in them and it's got a leak so we're gonna let them take a look at it since they just got done working on it you guys here to get this Jeep Liberty it's got a broken front well broken ball joint on the driver's side supposedly I may have to take the wheel and tire off, I ain't sure yet. I got skates too. Get to front of the A-frame. There's two places on the day. I put a skate under yeah, it and let it everything. skate. Put it on a skate so the wheel hopefully won't roll, maybe. Yeah, I got some. Put a little bit of salt, maybe. 
We have to go off, put it in gear. I'll be able to use one chain on this one. Probably use one chain on this one, I think.
Time later today, I'm definitely gonna spool that cable again. Let's put this stuff away. another one down sounds like we got several more to do so we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching hey guys uh, we're down in Bowling Green to pick an Altima up and we'll take the Jim Johnson's here in Bowling Green So after it cools off, it runs for a little bit, and then right. okay, and we'll do it again, yeah. Okay. Hadn't had it, Jim Johnson once, and they put it, said it was transmission, put a new transmission in it, and that wasn't it, huh? First day she got it back, she drove it to town, and yeah. she didn't make it home. Wow, was that under warranty or? Yeah, she's oh, got like a car shield. <laughs> okay, that's good. Like nine hundred bucks. I mean, that's new. Yeah, like, oh, it's worth that for sure. You know, so you've been waiting this whole time for me. No, I, oh, was, okay. I got here about 15 minutes ago. I don't know. They called us. We're from Beaver Dam. I don't, can't believe they didn't find somebody local to do it. So. They called, they, really? They're they too busy? Do it, I guess, yeah. yeah. Huh. Oh, well. Cables out of the way, and I'll just pull it up there. So, yeah. key in it. Yeah, it's okay. like been back from Jim Johnson's uh, a while I think it's been three weeks so she, she couldn't get it back in to him oh really so yeah busy. so busy yeah that's the way it is it's everywhere now supposed to, you know it's supposed to be there yeah so. go ahead and get it done so good so they know it's coming already i guess yeah okay yeah i'll just take the key in there when i get there and tell them it's there so they'll be ready for it so yes, sir. All, right, all right thank you have thank a good day
50 miles from here so I know there's a lot of towing companies here in Bowling Green but for some reason the insurance company called us but if they want to pay the rate then we're happy to do it of course only going about two or three miles up the road from here so we drive 50 miles to tow it two or three miles and then we drive 50 miles back home so we'll put a couple straps on it run it right up there and drop her off